Alrighty, here we've got uh, Dig or Die. You play on Xbox Series X. Uh, now, this is a game where you essentially have... It's a, I guess it's a cross between, like, Terraria meets uh, <laughs> Subnautica, I guess is the best way to put it. So it's a side-scrolling uh, crafting slash survival game. And the point of the game is to uh, survive uh, and then build a rocket to get off the planet. Essentially is the name of the game. Now, you do have a gun. You also have a flashlight. Um, you need the flashlight to be able to see in the darker caverns. Uh, you have a little machine here that you can utilize to craft things. Something like a crafting table in Minecraft. Um, you can craft walls, which you're going to need to defend yourself uh, against the, uh, the fauna. Now, well, the sucky thing about this is, is that, um, <laughs> uh, is the fact that uh, these, um, the uh, fauna will destroy your, uh, your structures. Uh, and it happens every night. You have to such a survive the night, and the night has monsters coming at you nonstop. It's pretty crazy. But you got resources like wood here. Uh, you can actually gather things like stone and build better structures. You get plants to uh, to craft healing items, things of that nature. You have the rain that comes down periodically, and it will flood your structure if you do have it open. Um, and you will eventually drown, so do keep that in mind. I'm playing this on easy mode. This is I don't want to have a too difficult of a time trying to to play. So I do like the fact that the um, uh, the plants grow back. It's kind of nice, kind of neat. Uh, you can the one thing one cool thing about this that I didn't realize until within the game is you can actually pick up your uh, your machine here that's used to build stuff. I say that yet yeah, it's not come on there we go. Come on, there we go. So yeah you can make it up and you can place it elsewhere, which is really nice. I like that. They have a shotgun you can use. You could also get other other weapons as well. I don't like the fact that you have to press up to jump. I think they should have regulated that. They should I think they should have put that uh, as, a, as just a button, as opposed to using the up on the uh, on the analog stick. But that's okay. It's still it's still a fun game. Now let's go ahead and just try to build. Build some Oh whoa, hello. Can you not try to kill me, you stinking bee, hornet, whatever you whatever you are. Alright, so now we've got uh, wood to be able to build walls. Now another thing you want to we're gonna want to build is wooden platforms. Okay, so what you what you can do here is now that I've got enough. Come on. There, you go, that's what I was trying to do. Um, sometimes when you have enemies killing you, it's kind of hard to navigate through the uh, <laughs> through the uh, menu. But uh, you can actually uh, use the wooden platforms to build yourself out of base, which is kind of cool. I'm going to do that right now, actually. Now, you can actually use the D-pad to determine where you want to set the platform, which is really neat, really handy. And you can also use the, um, whoops. The, uh, 
the uh, natural dirt as a barrier, which is really kind of kind of nice. So I might need to actually just use this to uh, build up a defense here. Hopefully, this is gonna be enough to uh, <laughs> to protect me. Uh, it wasn't before. We'll see if it is now, though. It's uh, it's about half halfway into nighttime. But yeah, this game's pretty cool. I like how it's a how it's a mixture of like Terraria, uh, Terraria meets uh, Subnautica, Minecraft. Uh, it's pretty cool. Pretty awesome game. Um, it's a pretty cool, cool little game. So if you like games like that, you're gonna like this game. This is Dig or Die. Um, I want to thank uh, Bloodworks, the publisher, for the opportunity. I'm gonna end the video here. I thank you for watching. Thank you for subscribing. And as always, till next time, take care and be gaming.